Hi everyone, this is VK. Welcome to Smid World. Here I am with another video. In this video, we will see about uh, blow bar crusher maintenance and repair. Blow bar crusher, we can also call strike bar crusher. We can improve the performance and extend the wear life of blow bars in your existing primary limestone impactor. Benefits Low total cost of ownership, long wear life, easy maintenance, better performance of your existing impact pressure, improved reliability. Impact pressure Use impact energy to crush the materials. The crusher has a shaft that runs through the crushing chamber with a rotor that turns blow bars. It uses the high speed impacting force of the turning blow bars projection to break the material. The material is prone to impact plates for crushing and shot back to the blow bars again. This process is repeated until the materials are crushed to the required size and discharged through the discharging opening at the bottom of the crush. With impact crushing, the material breaks along its natural cleavage lines, resulting in a more typical product at high reduction ratios. The gap between the impact rack and the rotor supports are adjusted to the size and shape of the end product. You can see clearly the spare parts in a crusher. During material crushing in an impact pressure, where is product? Where is produced when the elements press against each other, such as Reiner, blow bars, and crushing materials? During this process, small materials from each element become detached, causing surface of the wear wear. The primary factor in wear for crushing application is abrasion. The material is fatigue is also a factor as the wear material is subjected to numerous pressures and impact stresses. There are several factors that influence the wear behavior of an impact pressure. You can see in the picture, summarize some of the factors that affect the wear limestone of crushed wear parts. Factors that affect the wear lifetime of uh, crushing wear parts. Impact elements. The blow bars, apron liners, and side liners are made from 
wear resistance material for long wear life. The figure below shows uh, wear comparison for the wear parts and impact pressure irrespective of the factors shown in figure. The blow bars wears faster because the impact and rubbing the materials twice as fast as the apron and its plate and these contribution to about 60% of the cost of the wear parts. Types of blow bar, wear material feed, rotor speed, moisture content, fineness content and pressure ratios are the major factors that influences the wear rate of blow bar aside the blow bar material. The controlling these factors means reducing the wear rate on the blow bars and reduce the cost of the wear part. You can see your blow bar wear factor considerations. 45% of material feed, 20% of rot speed, 12% uh, because of moisture content, 10% of uh, fineness content, 10% of pressure ratio. When the blow bar uh, life is optimized, a gentle radius on the blow bar is formed. This shows that material feed in the pressure in the correct size. The rotor penetration and rotor speed are correct. The correct blow bar for the speed metal is being used and machine parameter is correctly set up. You can see in a uh, six, the profile of the optimized blow bar is shown in the figure. Right now, the below figure you can see here, optimized blow bar profile. If the rotor speed is too low and the risk of the breakage of the blow bar is increased due to excessive penetration on the blow bar, this means the blow bars are underutilized before changing and will lead to roll rotor wear, which shortens the lifespan. On the other hand, if the rotor speed is too high, wear rates will be access to poor penetration. This means the top of the blow bar is thrown down back flat. This output reduces the creates lot of finest materials. So, access to penetration on the blow bar, you can see picture A. Power penetration on the blow bar, you can see in picture B. Another form of wear on the blow bar is the wearing of blow bar towards the center is due to tickle feed which gives uneven and excessive wear at the center and reduces the life of the blow bar. This type of wear can be addressed by increasing the feed to the pressure. Blow bar wearing excessively to one side due to material falling on the side. Excessive wear at both ends impact pressure problem where on the sides of the blow bar this type of wear happens when there is a high percentage of the fines in the field of uh, feed or uh, power feed crushing fans to be pushed to our side. The crusher chamber contaminated with the caker material can also cause friction wear on the blow bar. Blow, you can see in picture A, blow bar wear on the center. In picture B, blow bar wear on one side. In picture C, blow bar wear on both sides. Blow, blow bar wear due to poor material feed and build up in the pressure. Breaking of the blow bar is majority attribute from foreign materials loaded in the chamber, either tooth from loading machines or fallen heavy duty impact plate. Blow bar can also break due to quality of blow bar material, wrong choice of blow bar or crushing hard material. The material used for this study are Holmes Hajame impact pressure model, Miller welding machine, refilling welding electrode means uh, build-up electrode, hard-facing electrodes and uh, depth vernier caliper uh, the range of uh, 0 to 200 mm stainless steel for blow bar wear measurement method. The wear rate measurement of the blow bar starts with a reference value after installation of new blow bar. The length of the blow bar was measured at five different points marked B, A, B, C, D and E as shown figure below figure 9. After crushing 100,000 tons of uh, limestone, the crusher was stopped, cleared, inspected, and the length of the blow bars was measured before and after refilling and hard facing of the blow bars. The blow bars were rate and calculated according to the equation below mentioned, where rate equal to L1 minus L2 by QM, where L1 means length of the blow bar measured before crushing the material in mm. L2 means length of the blow bar measured after crushing material in mm. Q means the quantity of material pressure. 
the blowbird measurement at different points you can see here in picture the average the average wear rate of six blow bars on the rotor measured different points was found to be 0 0.000160 at point a and e point a and e and point 0 0.00172 at point b and d and 0 0.00194 millimeter per ton at point c this indicates high wear at the center of the blow bars shown on the error bar figure 10 and uh, a to e this happens due to the trickle feed which gives uneven and excessive wear at the center of the blow bar the blow bars were refilled and hard pasted to protect prolong it lifetime before reaching the action value where the blow bar reversal or replaced it recommended if the blow bars are not reversed or changed after reaching its action values crushing will be on the rotor thereby creating high wear and imbalance on the rotor which can lead to premature failure you can see in the picture the wear rate of uh, blow bar before and after refilling hard facing at point a b c d and e Based on the wear profile observed on the blow bars as shown figure 10A to E, it can be concluded that there is a trickle feed to the pressure or material buildup at the edges of the pressure inlet which gives uneven and excessive wear at the center. The following measures were put in a place to correct the high wear peak at the center of the blow bar. Uniform material feeding to the crusher was maintained, rotor speed checked and found to be within required speed. The material moisture content adjusted to 10% on the average and maintained. Recharge gap setting adjusted to 50 mm. Material size maximum. Material buildup at the crusher inlet were cleaned and regular cleaning of chamber was maintained. After the above intervention, the length of the blow bar was measured after crushing 1000 tons of the limestone and 2000 tons. The blow the blow bars profile were observed and found to have worn uniformly 0.00120m mm per ton on the average at point A, B, C, D and E. Also a gentle radius was observed on the blow bar. This shows the material feed in the pressure is the correct size. The rotor penetration and the speed is correct. Correct blow bar for the feed materials is being used and mission parameter is correctly set up.
the weight of the rotor blow bar was uh, optimized by ensuring that the material feed into the fishery is the correct size rotor penetration and speed is correct correct blow bars for the speed material is being used and uh, machine parameters such as correctly set up this established that the any deviation from the wear parameters impact significantly on the turn wear rate and maintenance cost